All right, welcome to the Disney Dining Show. My name is Denny Sunderly. I'm here with Corey Fiascanaro and with Morgan Lamone and Sean Falk is on his way. And we are going to take our turn at the brand new, newly refurbished Beaches and Cream here at Disney's Beach Club Resort. We're very excited, but first, and always most importantly, we are brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. Let Dreams Unlimited Travel help you plan your vacation of your dreams here at Walt Disney World. You can visit them on their website, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com, or in the information down below. Let them help you out by providing you a free, obli no obligation quote for your vacation today. We're really excited. We're going to go in and have a seat in just a few minutes, and we'd love for you to come along. sat down but we sat down here ordered a few things uh, ordered a few like appet appetizery items uh, they're listed as today's specials but there's no real appetizers uh, nothing is gonna really be coursed out here um, but we got the tots we got the plant-based tots and we got the most farthest thing from plant-based tots with the bacon on them um, now those came out right with all our sandwiches so I'll just go ahead and talk about what I thought about what I tried all at once now. Um, not gonna try the really cheesy tots here. The others will, not me. I did try the plant-based tots and it was, they were all right. Um, the tots were good, they were nice and crispy, but it didn't look that appetizing. It looked like something that I would throw together, like in between grocery trips when like I was kind of running low on supplies. Um, not like the most delicious looking thing in the world, but it, with that being said, it was good. Uh, that was nine bucks. Now I got the turkey sandwich with apple with smoked bacon. It also comes with lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. I said hold the mayo. Not my thing, so I, I told them no mayo. Uh, this was really good. Thinly sliced pieces of turkey, and they didn't skimp on the turkey at all. The turkey was really, really um, tender, flavorful, juicy, like the, the, the type of turkey that, that you want to eat. Uh, really delicious. The bread was nicely toasted, but it was uh, it wasn't crunchy toast. It was, it was soft, but had a nice little char to it. Uh, the applewood smoked bacon was actually thick bacon, which didn't really seem to appetize me to be at first, but it was thick but crispy. So nothing to be afraid of, because I know some people, they don't like their bacon floppy. This was very, very like crispy bacon. Uh, then you got the thick, the thick cut steak fries. Salted great, delicious. Uh, and then there's a little pickle in there too. Now, I also got a vanilla Coke. Now this is like your diner style Coke. It's like pre when they made the different flavor Cokes. So instead of having the actual vanilla Coke, you have Coke and they add that flavor syrup to it. So you could get raspberry, cherry, vanilla. This is the same concept that they use at Sci-Fi Dining. Uh, and every time that I go to a place like that that utilizes the syrup, I always, I always go ahead and get the old school vintage flavored Coca-Cola because I just love it so much. And uh, yeah, this was a thumbs up to me. The only, the only thing I would probably say is uh, 17 bucks for the turkey sandwich. It was really good, but I have had better cheaper. Um, just off the top of my head, Geyser Point. I like that turkey sandwich more. That turkey sandwich is like 14 bucks. Just nitpicking at this point, but all in all, it was good. All right. cheese. Now I honestly got this because as a designated Disneyland person I had high standards of grilled cheese and tomato soup compared to Disneyland that we have at Jolly Holiday and it compares but in a different way. So the grilled cheese is absolutely phenomenal. The different types of cheeses that are in it are superb. I don't know what cheeses they were but they were amazing. So so good. Everything about the grilled cheese was wonderful and I think that grilled cheese part better than Disneyland's. Now the tomato soup part of it, 
not as good as Disneyland. But if we were talking, right, Sean and I had it, and we were talking about it, and if you had, like, what is it, Chef Wardy's spaghettios, and you like that, then you'll like the tuna soup. I had the high seniors with Disneyland, so I was a big fan. Sean and I also shared the um, chicken sandwich, and I thought it was very bland. Um, we even got, like, extra sauce or jam. Yeah, onion jam. Put on it, and we, I personally couldn't taste it. The bread was very soggy; it was falling apart. But um, yeah, it was a very interesting combination. Um, also, the tater tots. Um, for I really liked the normal tater tots um, with the melty cheese and the bacon and everything. Very, very good. But for the um, plant-based ones, they were actually really hearty and like filling. And like the cheese wasn't as melty because you know it's not real cheese. But it was pretty good. So, yeah, I would give that a surprising thumbs up for that one. Okay, so I have a plant-based burger. Understand that I am not plant-based myself. So I would normally, if I come here, and I've come here before and gotten their burger, and I really love their burgers here. Um, I really love their desserts more, and the burger is just kind of a means to an end. It gets you to dessert. But the plant-based burger is brand new to the menu, um, and I loved it. When our server came, well, one of the servers, um, when she came and she she handed it over, she said, the delicious plant-based burger. And I said, oh, good. And she said, no, I really love it. So that was really encouraging. It's got um, plant-based mayonnaise on it, which to me struck, struck me a little bit more as a leaning on the aioli side of things. There was a nice garlicky richness to it that added a really nice layer of flavor. The tomato jam was one, no, onion jam was wonderful. And onions are not my jam, but the onion jam is my jam. It was really good. It added a nice sweetness. Um, we asked our server what the burger is made of. It's made of pea protein and uh, potato starch and beets. So I've had my I've had my veggies for the day. Um, but if you're a plant-based eater, you're not going to miss a thing having this burger. You're going to feel like you're having a burger, and, and it's actually really good. Um, the tots, really good. I concur with what everyone else has said. The plant-based tots, I love that they are adding something to it, and if you live a plant-based life, you're going to really enjoy it. The chili's got a nice richness and heartiness to it. Um, the, uh, the almond milk cheese doesn't really melt, but if you're plant-based, you kind of know that going into it, and so you've got a different set of, of um, objectives, uh, expectations. Um, the sour cream is made of coconut milk, and that just kind of congealed a little on the top as well. Again, if that's your thing, then this is no big deal, and it's going to be a nice option for you. The one that's not plant-based, all the meats that you can get on them, those are really good. Uh, so I, Morgan and I actually split uh, our meal, so I'm just going to echo what she had said. Um, first of all, uh, Denny's plant-based burger was actually $17. Um, mine and Morgan's, the uh, chicken cream grilled cheese was $13. And the uh, cheddar bacon ranch chicken sandwich, which is what we got, was $16. Um, I did have them add the caramelized balsamic onion jam that Denny was just talking about onto mine and Morgan's chicken sandwich because I was like, that sounds great, I'd like to try it. Um, I don't know if it was that or the chicken or what, but it did make the bread really soggy. It was super drippy and kind of hard to keep the sandwich together. I really liked the sandwich. I, I didn't have any problems with it. I didn't think it was... Um, as flavorful I guess as it could have been but I still really enjoyed it I liked the grilled cheese a lot it was so good um, Denny knew the cheeses and I don't so what were the cheeses? Morrison Morrison white cheddar and provolone and provolone okay that's, that's simple enough um, so but they were really good it was a great combination it was a really big sandwich I was surprised how big it was um, and as Morgan had said the, the tomato soup was very Chef Boyardee, especially if you had the little, little raviolis that Chef Boyardee has. It was that same coloring, like that orangey kind of look to it. And it kind of had a tinny taste, like the can. Um, overall, it's been a pretty good experience so far. Though. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, uh, the look is great of the restaurant and uh, the top. I got the 
the uh, cheddar and bacon ones, I did not actually try the plant-based ones because uh, it has almond stuff in it, and I'm allergic to almond. So I was like, I don't want to jump into that too much, so I don't live the plant-based life at all. I, I definitely, I like my foods with like steroids injected into them, so I'm good. This is our world-famous kitchen sink. It's eight scoops of ice cream. So we can't really go to Beaches and Cream without the cream part. So we just ordered our desserts, tried some of the new stuff. Um, I got the Snickers Sunday. Now that's $11. That's three scoops of vanilla ice cream, hot fudge, marshmallow topping, Snickers pieces, topped with whipped cream, shot peanuts, and a cherry. Now these Sundays are heavily shareable. You don't just need to get the kitchen sink if you want to share. This could easily be shared between two, maybe even three people. It is big. Uh, with that being said, I, I enjoyed it a lot. It was really good, but I think any fan of Snickers candy bars are going to adore this. Now, uh, with that being said, I also got a chance, an opportunity to try the cookie fries, which I'm sure other people will talk about. Everybody got a chance to try these bad boys. Um, come with three different little toppings and uh, yeah I just thought they were just awful. Uh, the cookie fries were nothing to write home about. Um, it kind of tasted like, and I'm not knocking on Trader Joe's at all, I love Trader Joe's, but it's like almost like one of those things you'd get in the, one of the little circular tins at Trader Joe's for like $1.99 and like you to take them home and be like, yeah these were okay. Um, I'm sure these were $1.99 though. So. That's, that was Denny's order. I'll let her speak on that more, but I like the Snickers Sunday. I'd recommend it and I would share. Hey, so I got, oh my gosh, what did I get? I got the Store Malone Marshmallow Topping. Now, I don't know what that is, but I got the Store Malone Cotton Candy Shade, which in the picture, it looked so unique and the flavor sounded like really interesting, so I was like, I gotta try it. It also had a little lightsaber donut on top and it was just so dang cute. Also, with the price of it, you actually get the souvenir cup, which is pretty awesome. And it has like, hot beach cold so it's awesome. But, okay, so I had all of them try it too. And we all had like really mixed opinions about it. Um, I thought it tasted like, Fruity Pebbles, but I liked it. Um, I thought it was really interesting. It took me a couple like tastes to like figure out what it was, and the donut was delicious. Overall, I really like this. I don't know if I would get it again, but it was pretty good. Oh, I want to talk about the, the thing. Can I talk about it now? Yeah. Okay, so these <laughs> are wood chips. <laughs> like these are not good at all. I wanted to like them so bad. I love like cookies and raw cookie dough and all of it. And this literally is hard as a rock. Like don't like you can build you can build stuff out of these. You get a bunch and build stuff. There you go. <laughs> so I got the basket of sadness. And it's the cookie fries and they're plant-based and I was really, really excited about them and I really wanted to try them. Again, I'm not plant-based, but I know that a lot of you who are watching are and I think it is the most amazing thing that y'all are getting some incredible options here on Walt Disney World property. It's the real coolest thing. I would steer clear of the cookie fries if I were you. Unfortunately, they are not sweet. And so you're sitting here surrounded by every kind of sweet treat you could ever want in the entire world. And the thing that you have on the menu is not sweet at all. There are chocolate chips involved and there are dips. Now, we all thought the dips were really good. You have marshmallow sauce and you have raspberry sauce and you have a chocolate sauce, which is all, I've been told, plant-based. And those are delicious, but this, in essence, is like um, a bland vehicle for those dips. And it's just, unfortunately, the texture is very dense. It's not sweet at all. There's not much of a flavor that's distinctive in the cookie fries. So I really wanted to love it, but I ended up not loving it. So I think if I was plant-based, I think I would just skip dessert altogether. 
and, and grab something I know I enjoy elsewhere? Uh, I got the the fudge mudslides. Um, I wanted to say hot fudge sundae for some reason. Uh, I got the fudge mudslide. I thought it was pretty good. It's huge. It's the same size as uh, Corey's. And I thought it was all right. I think the, I'm not the biggest ice cream person in the world. So I kind of just joining in because everyone else is getting ice cream and that's what you do here. Um, I think it's good. I think it's homemade-ish. Like it tastes like, you know, something you make at home. It's vanilla ice cream and um, the chocolate syrup on top. And, but I mean, really the big thing is like the, this plant-based. Wood, wood thing like I don't know like that is the worst dessert I've ever had in my life like I can't believe that a team of people sat and got it made it and ate it and were like it's ready like this is ready for public consumption because it's not and they gotta figure that out they gotta do something I will say I didn't care that much about Morgan's uh, drink because I didn't feel like it tasted like anything but they did have four other flavors as well that you could get but I love that for the $14 you get the souvenir cup with it because a lot of people are always like, oh, we want merchandise from the resort we're staying in or where you're visiting. You would can't really pay about $14 for a cup from Beach Club. So in this case, you're getting one and you get a dessert to go in it. So in that way, I think it's pretty well worth the price. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. Um, I also got earlier in the meal, uh, whatever it was, uh, I got a stout float, uh, which was Guinness stout. With uh, I, with chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream, and that was twelve fifty. It was amazing. It was really thin, and it uh, so it wasn't like milkshakey at all. It was just like a float, really fizzy. It was very very good. I don't typically drink Guinness. I like lighter beers, and you could not taste the beer really at all to me. I mean, maybe I'm like immune from it or like an alcoholic or something, but I couldn't taste it at all. And I thought it was really good that way because you don't want too much of that. Guinness taste, or I don't anyway, um, even though it's good. So that was a great choice. I would get that for my dessert personally again, but it had a lot of what I like in it. So. Just wrapped up our dinner there at Peaches and Cream. Uh, what are our thoughts? Well, um, I personally, I did an all plant-based evening this evening, which is shocking, but um, it was good. I really loved the plant-based burger. Um, cookie fries, we've already talked about that. Didn't love those so much, but all in all, I liked it. Yeah. Do you remember how much the cookie fries were? Uh, cookie fries were $8, if I remember correctly. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Avoid. Avoid the cookie yeah, fries. Just, yeah. There are other options, I'm sure, that are also plant-based, so maybe yeah. go for one of those. We did, we had a discount uh, with Tables of Wonderland, and after the tip and everything, our total was about $149 for the two of us. So, okay, for four. four. Sorry, just me and Denny, but, you know, but out. Uh, anyway, so, like, do y'all feel, like, if you had spent $150 on that for a family of four, like, would you feel happy with what happened? Yeah. We definitely got a ton of food. We had, like, little appetizers, we had desserts, obviously. Um, I think overall it's a really good experience. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? I feel like you probably didn't even need to get all the things that we did yet in order to feed your family a force efficiently. Like we got the two orders of tots, you didn't need two <laughs> orders of tots. Uh, we, no. we, me and Sean each got our own Sunday. You really oh, yeah. didn't need to do that either. Um, and I mean like if you added up all the desserts that we got collectively, That's it was more expensive than the kitchen sink. Because the, sure. like the kitchen sink is $35, like our Sundays were 11 each, like yeah. the cookie fries were another eight. And mine was 12. It was 12, so I mean, that's yeah. more than a kitchen sink would have been. And yeah. like you said with mine, mine does come with a souvenir cup. We thought it was glass in the restaurant, but they don't give you a new one. They give you the one you have and they clean it out for you, and it's actually like hard plastic, which we totally thought it was glass. So, so yeah. And another thing I mentioned was, I feel like for what it is, sandwiches and ice cream, it is a little slow. I mean, it was packed. It was definitely a sold out night. Like if you went on your My Disney Experience app and were trying to get a res reservation for Beach to Cream tonight, it was not gonna happen. But it was, it's, it's still sandwiches and ice cream and it moved very snail-like, so. Um, the environment itself, as uh, Beaches and Cream is one of those restaurants that if it is, um, if it's a favorite of your family's, you are very protective 
of that. I mean, we've got my own family. We've got some really great memories when the kids were little with grandma and grandpa. So I understand that, that for a lot of families who are watching this or traveling parties, this is a really big deal that they went and messed with beaches in Crane. Um, the environment is really nice. It is different. Um, the ceiling is the same, that kind of tin type um, ceiling. I personally love the colorful um, stamped concrete floors that they've got going on there in there now and beautiful sherbet colored stripes of subway tile behind the counter. And the artwork, the Disney and the artwork, artwork is really fun too. It's beautiful. And the cast members kept their old costumes which were adorable. Mm -hmm. But we were talking earlier and it lost with the expansion and this uh, that it needed, it lost a lot of its like cute little hidden ice cream shop near the beach charm. And there was like no music playing, the jukebox wasn't even on. So I don't know if it's like a temporary problem or just we got it at night, but it was a little odd. So. And for those of you who don't like have never been to Beaches and Cream, you know, this is a very family friendly restaurant. You know, they got lots of fun things going on. You order the kitchen sink, they make a big, huge deal about it. They bring it out to your table. Uh, with that being said, it is a louder restaurant too, but that comes with the theming. It's a diner style restaurant for families to have fun and get burgers and ice cream. That's essentially what you're getting here. Yeah, to me it felt like, um, you know, if you're up in the New Jersey coastal area and your family like was out in Atlantic City or out in Wildwood or whatever, and you want to get something from a diner or uh, not a full like Philly, New Jersey kind of diner, but like, you know, just a mom and pop kind of place. Uh, it had that feel to it. I didn't necessarily think the food was as good as what you get there, but that's also like authentic to those areas. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I, 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 overall, I was satisfied. I don't know that I would leave a park to go there. It wouldn't be the, the restaurant that I would make my family's like special thing, but I also know that there's a lot of families that Beach and Cream is like a must do. If they can't do it, they're very, very unhappy or they're not going to go or whatever the situation is. So we hear it all the time on the travel agency side, like our family has to do Beach and Cream. It's not for me, but uh, people love it. Let's give it a scale of 1 to 10. What do you think? Ah, for me, I want to say, oh, Sean, you go. I pass. I'll what? come back. I, for me, it was maybe like six and a half, I'd say. I actually was thinking that exact number, too. A six and a half. Yeah. I was hovering right no, around seven. Yeah, nothing yeah. to write home about. Mm -hmm. Kind of killed a little bit of the theming, but good, good to go, to. Just and that's just a snapshot of tonight's meals. I've had great meals in there before. The sh the ice cream shakes, the sundays, I've loved them. But tonight's meal seven. What about you? Yeah, I'm gonna lean more towards seven as well. Um, I think we're right all on the same page, kind of right here. Uh, but the food price per value takes a little bit of a hit because, like I said, my sandwich was great, mm -hmm. but I've had cheaper sandwiches on property for better. And this is a resort location, not an in theme park location. Mm -hmm. And a lot of other resort locations that sell similar sandwich type food, I've had I've had better at. Um, and like I did say, for for what you're getting and just rating this restaurant for what it is, it's burgers and ice cream. I mean, it was a little too slow for that. So yep. seven. All right. There you go. Anything else? That is going to do it for <laughs> this week's episode of the Disney Dining Show. Like Denny said at the top of the show, you can always use Dreams Unlimited to travel to plan your family's next Disney vacation cruise line and more. So check the description below for all that information. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay.